Hello, hypertension resistors. As you know, hypertension or high blood pressure is a common health concern affecting millions worldwide. It is a condition where the force of the blood against the artery walls is too high, often leading to serious health issues if left untreated. It's often called a silent killer because it may not show symptoms for years, but it silently damages your blood vessels, increasing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and other serious health problems. This makes regular monitoring and early detection crucial. Resistant hypertension is a particularly challenging form of high blood pressure. Unlike regular hypertension, it remains high despite the use of multiple medications. It's defined as high blood pressure that doesn't respond well to medication, even when taking three or more different types. This can include diuretics, ACE inhibitors, and calcium channel blockers. This resistance to treatment can be frustrating for patients and doctors, patients may feel disheartened by the lack of progress, while doctors are challenged to find the most effective medication combination. Understanding the underlying causes of resistant hypertension is crucial for developing effective treatment strategies. This involves a comprehensive approach, including advanced diagnostic tests and personalized treatment plans. While lifestyle factors like diet and exercise play a major role, researchers are increasingly focusing on the role of certain enzymes and their impact on blood pressure regulation. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle can help manage hypertension, but it may not be enough for resistant cases. What you might not know is that xanthine oxidase is an enzyme that has garnered significant attention. It plays a crucial role in purine metabolism, a process that breaks down substances found in our cells. By understanding how this enzyme affects blood pressure, new treatments can be developed to target resistant hypertension more effectively. Xanthine oxidase, XO, is an enzyme found in various tissues in our body, primarily in the liver. It's involved in the breakdown of purines, a naturally occurring compound found in our cells. When piorines are metabolized, they produce uric acid. In normal amounts, uric acid acts as an antioxidant, protecting our cells from damage. However, when exo activity is elevated, it can lead to an overproduction of uric acid. High levels of uric acid can build up in the blood, forming crystals that deposit in joints, causing a painful condition known as gout. More importantly, in the context of hypertension, elevated exoactivity has been linked to oxidative stress, a harmful process that damages cells and tissues. This oxidative stress can contribute to the development and progression of cardiovascular diseases, including resistant hypertension. Researchers are now exploring the link between exoactivity, oxidative stress, and resistant hypertension to better understand how we can manage this condition more effectively. Imagine your cells as tiny factories constantly working to keep your body functioning. Just like any factory, these cellular factories produce waste products. Oxidative stress occurs when there's an imbalance between the production of these waste products known as free radicals and the body's ability to neutralize them with antioxidants. This imbalance can wreak havoc on our cells, damaging DNA, proteins, and lipids, essential components of our cells. Think of free radicals as unstable molecules with an unpaired electron. They roam around looking to steal an electron from other molecules, causing a chain reaction of damage. Antioxidants, on the other hand, are like the body's defense system, neutralizing these free radicals and preventing them from causing harm. In the context of cardiovascular health, oxidative stress is a major culprit. It damages blood vessels, 
promotes inflammation and contributes to plaque buildup in arteries, all of which increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. Hypertension doesn't affect everyone equally. It is a condition that disproportionately impacts certain racial and ethnic groups, leading to significant health disparities. Sadly, certain racial groups, such as African Americans, experience a higher burden of this disease, including more severe hypertension and a higher risk of complications. This disparity is not just a matter of statistics, it translates into real-world consequences affecting the quality of life and longevity of millions. While lifestyle factors like diet, exercise, and stress management play a significant role, researchers are increasingly recognizing that genetic and biological differences may also contribute to these disparities. These genetic factors can influence how the body regulates blood pressure and responds to treatment. Understanding these differences is crucial for developing targeted interventions and improving health outcomes for all. By tailoring healthcare strategies to address the specific needs of different racial groups, we can work towards reducing these disparities and promoting health equity. One area of research focuses on the potential racial differences in exoactivity and its impact on oxidative stress and hypertension. Exo, or xanthine oxidase, is an enzyme that can contribute to oxidative stress, a condition that damages cells and tissues. Some studies suggest that African Americans may have higher exoactivity compared to other racial groups, potentially contributing to the increased risk of hypertension. This higher activity could lead to more oxidative stress, which in turn exacerbates blood pressure issues. Furthermore, emerging evidence points to a possible link between mitochondrial DNA or mtDNA damage and hypertension. Mitochondria are essential for energy production in cells and their dysfunction can have widespread effects on health. Mitochondria, often referred to as the powerhouses of our cells, have their own DNA, which is more susceptible to damage from oxidative stress. This damage can impair their function, leading to a cascade of negative effects on cellular health. This mtDNA damage can further contribute to oxidative stress, creating a vicious cycle that exacerbates hypertension. By understanding these mechanisms, researchers hope to develop new treatments that can break this cycle and improve outcomes for those most affected. Now, let's focus on the intricate details of a pivotal study that has the potential to reshape our understanding of resistant hypertension. A groundbreaking study by Butt and colleagues delved into the potential racial differences in exoactivity and mtDNA damage in patients with resistant hypertension. This research is crucial as it explores the underlying biological mechanisms that may contribute to the observed disparities in hypertension prevalence and severity among different racial groups. Their findings shed light on the complex interplay of these factors and their contribution to this challenging condition. The study's comprehensive approach provides a deeper understanding of how oxidative stress and genetic damage can influence health outcomes. The study involved a diverse group of patients with resistant hypertension, including African Americans and Caucasians, this diversity was essential to ensure that the findings were representative and could be generalized to a broader population. The researchers measured exoactivity, mtDNA damage, and other markers of oxidative stress in all participants. These measurements were meticulously taken to ensure accuracy and reliability, providing a solid foundation for the study's conclusions. Their results revealed that African-American patients had significantly higher exoactivity compared to their Caucasian counterparts. This discovery is particularly important as it highlights a potential biological pathway that could be targeted for therapeutic interventions. 
this higher exo activity was associated with increased levels of uric acid and markers of oxidative stress, suggesting a potential mechanism for the racial disparity in hypertension. The correlation between exo activity and oxidative stress markers underscores the importance of addressing these factors in clinical practice. Moreover, the study found that African-American patients also had higher levels of mtDNA damage, further supporting the role of oxidative stress in the development and progression of resistant hypertension in this population. These findings pave the way for future research and potential new treatments that could mitigate these disparities and improve health outcomes for all patients. Stay tuned for more useful information about resistant hypertension for the best understanding about blood pressure management, and I'll see you in the next one.